Did you know that there are actually some extremely cursed builds on the gallery? Oh yeah, if you head over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG haunts, you get a bunch of cursed builds in the gallery and we're gonna be looking through these today. The first one we're gonna be looking at today is The Abandoned School by Facial Sheet Mask. If this school is abandoned, why does it look like it hasn't even been damaged except for aging and perhaps rotten food? What lurks between these walls or underground. Does it have anything to do with the mysterious principal that was in charge many years ago? No. There's no way it was the mysterious principal who was in charge many years ago. I think it just was a completely painful kawinky dink that as soon as we got a really creepy principal, the school went kaboom. Correlation does not equal causation. Therefore, the body that I'm standing over had nothing to do with me. I'm two fucking seconds in and I've already incriminated myself. Here we are. Two in the morning and we have arrived at the abandoned school. It looks fucking creepy. Abandoned or not, this did not look like an establishment in which I wanted any part to do with. This entrance, by the way, is super cool. Like, what debug items did you even use for this? This is so awesome. Anyway, I'm a criminal and I'm just gonna swoop right through that. Okay, welcome to the abandoned school. This is really creepy. And I love I love it. That that's floating. Um the the it, the, it's okay. Let's just move on. Have the people been turned to stone or something? Because they're running. What happened? This is actually really creepy. I can see myself doing this map on Phasmophobia and proceeding to shit myself very thoroughly. Um, They're running that way, which tells me there's something that way that they're running from. So I'm gonna go this way. This is a good idea. Okay. Oh, it's just stairs. I'm actually really creeped out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna edit this with the extremely creepy music so you it adds to the experience but um yeah this is oh oh it's green over here what what, what have we got going over here oh there's just popping up toilets there's nothing scary in here i bet it's the women's bathroom that's really gonna be where all the scary stuff is no pretty pretty normal so far just some normal ghost toilets all is well all right i guess we have to go over there are those ghosts those are like little spectral things that's actually really cool i don't want to go upstairs just yet. I like saving upstairs for last. So we'll go through this door. This looks like a classroom over here. It's very, very, like, you can tell this was an old school. And it really freaks me the fuck out, so I'm gonna leave. Okay, I guess we don't have a choice. We have to go upstairs now, and I, I really don't want to. But anyway, let's follow the creepy ghost people and go all the way upstairs. Okay, this isn't so bad. Some chess. Oh, some girls just having a chat over here. Is, do you like the view? Do you like being at school at two in the fucking morning? You fucking weird. Oh, they freak me out. I hate mannequins. Anyway, I'm gonna leave now. We could go down there. I want to see what's here first. This is another classroom. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary so far. So we're just gonna go down here past all the lockers and little trophy cabinet that every school seems to have for some reason. It's a bit of a spooky one, but that's fine. Oh, they're having a good chat over there. I guess they don't hear the incessant screaming coming from downstairs, in which we promptly have to go back to. Oh, there's another classroom over here. Oh, I don't know if this is biology class or if the teacher dead. I'd rather not ask any questions to be completely honest. Back downstairs we go. This is the other side of the school. This is where the students are running to if you remember from earlier. Oh, this is the cafeteria. All the food has rotten away, which is fair. That happens and here's the lunch lady. She's uh, still here. I don't know if this is an aesthetics thing or if they've all been frozen in time and also all had their hair completely seeped off and also their eyeballs and all of their notable features. So then we come back over here here and people are running away. But um, there's also like a little football slash soccer field. Don't ask me what the fuck it's called. I'm not gonna answer your question. And uh, this that has a couple of uh, uh blood stains and a skull right there, a skull fossil, and also some dragging marks. So I'm pretty sure that all of our answers will unfortunately, I mean, all of our questions will unfortunately be answered. So let's go in through the spooky shed. Oh, it's just a storage room. That's fine. There's actually nothing here. It's just a bunch of like, uh, sports stuff and a slide and a ladder that goes downstairs that's hidden behind a big thingy like this. Okay. Okay. We'll see where you want to go. And down we go. And I already see a cauldron filled with students and Swedish fish, some hentai animals and some ash and skull. Okay. So this guy's definitely having a concoction that is not mac and cheese. And then, um, yeah, I, okay. So we have the knives ready to go. We have the 
incision things and a baby and a lot of meat and he's weighing them so obviously he's redistributing this and you know doing it by grams there's a pool down here i guess this is where he washes away everything and some chains and uh i guess this is like a grinder or something i don't really know i'll be completely honest i don't want to know anyway thanks for the nightmares 10 out of 10 would probably come back next one we're gonna be looking at is haunted spooky nights by grim grin and ghost welcome to haunted spooky nights a collection of three bone chilling haunted houses based on iconic scary movies will you survive the frights or will the haunts get the better of you is this movie trivia here we are this is actually really exciting i'm genuinely so excited to see this so we're going in through the entrance here i'm pretty sure i bought a ticket if not then uh oopsie anyway uh here's like a little gift shop area this is really cute i would just show up for the gift shop because i'd be way, way too scared to go in to be honest but that's totally fine i guess we're gonna have to do this together oh it's the grim reaper why does he look so cute today how you doing buddy oh he's so scary you're gonna send me to the afterlife oh my god anyway this is the first exhibit over here it's like a little haunted house thing this reminds me of the house from halloween you know the michael myers one that goes dun, 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 dun. you know that theme song that was pretty good this is a really long really long line i guess it gets really busy and i know i could just skip right to the front but uh i i'm not doing that i really like following the rules let's hope this ends eventually okay this took me right over here okay let's just go in okay so this is the halloween house i hope uh is there anything inside oh oh there is okay this is really fascinating what's this what what's this room i i don't really know what's in here i'm excited this is just a kitchen with knives okay i don't think i oh oh are people watching is that the spooky part okay let's go around the side here okay this is the tragic clown place oh are they supposed to scare me i feel really spooked right now and then over here you go back outside so that's the that's the end of it unless you go in through here i don't really understand what's happening right now but it does feel very claustrophobic and it's it's honestly working this lady has been stabbed i'm sure that's what that is uh can i go upstairs or am i not allowed i'm going upstairs anyway there's just spooky little houses oh it's a ghost oh you got me you got me buddy oh this leads downstairs what's down here oh little ghosty guys wow okay you really got me now if we head down the middle over here i want to see what this is this looks very alien inspired to me that's what i think this is what's this one is this scooby-doo that's scooby-doo isn't it unless it's terminator i'm not exactly sure oh there's another one over there this looks like a proper theme park oh this is the bob pancakes exhibit it. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, man, I really miss, like, theme parks and stuff like that. Okay, let's go through here. Let's go this way. I wonder what this one is. Hello? Is this Blair Witch? What? Oh, no, it's... Oh, this is actually making me very anxious. I'm not gonna lie, so you're doing a great job. Okay. All right. I'm already... This is actually, like, hard to maneuver in first person. I'm not gonna lie. Hello? Is this that movie? The, the Us movie, you know, with the mirrors and things? No, thank you hello oh no i was just here okay i got lost i've literally i'm at the entrance and i'm genuinely lost okay this way oh i'm freaked out i'm freaked out it's just the sims it's just the sims hello oh there's a little mirror thing in here oh <gasps> what the fuck that actually scared me i okay thank you i appreciate it and here's the house okay uh get me the fuck out of here there's a bat okay 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 can i leave can i can i leave can i leave can i leave anyway i really promptly need to piss myself so uh i'm gonna just go in the bathrooms real quick what is over here what is this oh okay there's more oh we love to see it oh great oh lovely oh lovely okay this is the thing okay i haven't seen the movie us right because i i literally cannot watch scary movies anymore i used to be obsessed with them but i remember my boyfriend describing it to me and is this what is this what he's referencing i know there were bunnies and things that's what this is isn't it i i 
I remember when my boyfriend speaks to me. I've never seen this movie, but I know it would scare me. And that's exactly what this is. And then the last one has a very long line that goes around the back. So we're gonna go through it together. Okay, I think that's the entrance. I, I no longer want to follow the rules of the red vines, but I have to. Okay, let's find out what spooky fucking bullshit this is. I bet it's alien. It looks very futuristic and that's the only futuristic sci-fi horror film I know of. Unless it's Star Wars. Okay, this one is now yellow. So it turns out I went the wrong way. This is where I'm supposed to go. What is this? This just looks like Journey to Batu, and that's already a horror film in itself. I'm not quite sure which scary movie this is. If I see a xenomorph, I'll probably know it's alien. I don't, I don't know. It's just scary in here. It's dark. It's very spooky, and uh, there's no way out of this room, so I, I don't, I might go in the wrong way all the time. And here we have some bunk beds and things. I don't see anything that should scare me. Is the atmosphere just supposed to be the thing that's supposed to terrify me? Okay, there are lots of weapons and things. I think, it, oh, okay, calm down. Calm down, okay? This is alien. It has to be. There's no other way. And is Terminator a horror film? Not really, right? I, I don't know. Unless this is Jason X, actually. That was a movie. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, okay. There's stuff on the ground. That's nice. There's gonna be something waiting for me and it's gonna be big and tall and fucking freak me out. What is that? Why is this in the game? Well, that one was more of an aesthetic type of thing. The atmosphere really got me. But anyway, this was actually so well detailed for such a small build. Like, I'm absolutely amazed. Amazing job. Thanks for all the spooks. Next one we're gonna be looking at is Fixer Upper by Batchard the Queen. This is a simple abandoned Fixer Upper home. One small renovation away from being the perfect family home. It is completely normal, practically spotless home in a great location with perfect neighbors. No, there is no need to look into the history of the house. Oh no, there's nothing wrong here. It is not haunted. No, not at all. There is no floor plan of the house. There's nothing hidden at all. Thanks for the disclaimer, man. I was actually really concerned and now all of my concerns are quelled. Imagine a real estate agent taking you through a house constantly reminding you all this shit. I'll actually be extremely disappointed if there really is something wrong with the house because he told me otherwise. <laughs> People don't lie, do they? Here we are at the fixer upper. Look at the boards on those things. This puts all of my abandoned houses to absolute shame. I just want to draw everybody's attention to the glowing mushroom. Oh yeah, there is nothing wacky going on in here. Aside from, you know, mailbox. <gasps> He's all scratched up. Mailbox, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Oh man, look at him. He's fine. He's doing a great job. Um, Aside from all the very uh, ominous signs telling me not to go in, we're going in, gamers. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Everything's immediately overgrown. It seems like somebody has been living here. Um. Okay. I don't really know what to make of this. This is fine. This is all fine. It's just abandoned. It's okay. That is totally not a secret door. No way. Nah. -uh. Uh, over here. Oh, people have been using this place for things. It really looks like it's mostly for uh, betting or drugs or just unsavory acts. So this place is 100% been used. Don't know what's up with all the mannequins. Don't really want to think about that. Okay, there's a lot of items here. So uh, we're not alone. And that thought is uh, not any more comforting than I thought it was actually going to be. Okay, this is the no poop door. Uh, well, it looks like we have a flaming turd. Many, actually. There's a lot of poops. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel the same way you do, to be honest. Okay, next next door, we have this one over here. Oh, pants. Nice. Okay, this is just a library. This is actually somehow the neatest part of the entire house. But uh, we have more places to go. There is an upstairs that has been blocked off, but we're gonna go in anyway. Hello. Hey, it's me. Okay, lots of places to go. Let's check this one. Okay. Uh, nothing so bad so far. That's pretty fancy. And then we have a bathroom with a plunger. No poopy in this one. They took care of that. Wow, this is glitching like crazy. And this takes us... Ooh, what's up here? <gasps> oh! Okay. Alright. Wow. It's a star! And a lot of dead people. Okay. Then the 
let's go back downstairs. Let's pretend we didn't see that. We saw nothing. I don't even know what you mean by we saw nothing. We literally saw nothing. Oh, what's here? A tent? Okay, this is, this is cute. It's so hard to put on a fake smile after knowing what's upstairs. Okay, people are definitely camping in here. Oh, this guy. Is he a ghost hunter? He's a ghost buster or something. Okay, so he's, he's creeping up in here trying to figure out what's going on in the house. When, to be honest, he should just take a look in the fucking attic. I already solved it for you, buddy. And okay, ducky! Wow! And a lot of poops. Th those are weird colors, actually. I feel like they might have been ingesting something fairly nearby. And then over here. Okay, we have a ghost already. We found one. We're gonna ghost bust his ass now. Oh, oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. Okay, what's over here? Oh, a giant hand. Okay, that's normal. Hi! Are they supposed to be ghosts? Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right, bye-bye. It's definitely a ghost because there's ectoplasm everywhere. Man, this is uh, a job for Spank Bank Mystery Inc., am I right? Oh, look, gosh, another shit. Somebody really needs to have some more fruit and fiber, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go in here because there has been a secret bookshelf door. Oh, I don't want to go in. I do Oh, okay, it goes downstairs. How fun. All right, we come down the ladder and... Uh, uh, doors on either fucking side. I know they look like bookshelves, but they're just doors. So we're gonna go through. Uh, oh, oh, a big vault door with uh, security cameras. Okay. Hello. What is this? What is this? People living underground? I, I really don't understand. I really don't. I really don't understand what's going on in here. Okay. Well, you have fun with that. Uh, all right. I, wow. Okay. Let's just, let's go through the other doors. Maybe the, it will explain what's going on 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 the other side hello oh look another one okay what's through here oh cow plants it's just a baby cow plant and a big one okay is that what's haunting the house is this like scp containment breach what is this oh there's more oh there's fucking more isn't there hello oh there's more downstairs there's like an extra downstairs oh my god are those giant swedish fucking fish they are, are they oh what the fuck is happening what is this okay so they're doing tests on on some fucking demon coming out of the water. And then, we oh, gnome demon, hi. This is SCP containment breach. This is 100% SCP containment breach. Like, there's no fucking way it's not. Okay, all hail to our demon gnome lord. And then uh, someone is having a very, very nice massage. Yep, uh, including gasoline. Love to see it. Okay, this looks fun. All right, okay. Is that a wind turbine? Oh no, this is just another torture machine. Okay, so they're having a lot of fun down here. And I, I don't even want to know what's going on over there. Okay, I'll have to contact my real estate agent in a bit. Um, no, thank you. Next one we're going to be looking at is the abandoned Japanese house by Plathanos 11. The Smiths are your average white family starring in a horror movie. They decided to buy a surprisingly cheap mansion that has been abandoned for almost 200 years in a small town of Japan. The neighbors rumor that something tragic happened happened to the previous family, which were murdered by their own daughter, Yuko. Paranormal activity has been witnessed in this house, so nobody dare comes near. But ghosts are not real, are they? Find hints inside the house. Ghosts are a myth. They are such a myth that even during my Spank Bank Mystery in Ghostbuster series here on this channel, we still haven't really seen a ghost yet. We've heard them, they've spoken to us, but they've not actually appeared. It's almost as if ghosts are just really shy and or invisible. Do you want to hear my water bottle? by the way. That's a big boy. Here we are. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. I can see why they wanted to pretend this place wasn't haunted and the entire family was totally murdered by their own daughter. But you know, it's just so pretty. Aesthetics are way more important than safety. Definitely lots of mail that has not been posted. That's fine because nobody lives here. Anyway, we're gonna go into the fucking scary house now. I hate it. Thanks, I fucking hate it. I don't wanna be here. Why do I do this in first person? Like what, what, what does this serve me? Nothing. Okay. A uh, lots of abandoned shit. Nice. I don't like that it was a daughter. Is it a child? Is it a child that was doing all the murdering? I also don't like the footprints. I don't appreciate that. Okay. So someone has definitely been outside and also inside at the same time. That's comforting. Why am I fucking scared? This is a Sims game. Hello? Okay. Weapons and stuff. This reminds me of one of the Grudge movies. I don't remember which one, but there was a room that looked exactly like this and it was not fair 
very nice. Anyway, we're in the kitchen now. It is supposed to be a place of happiness. Kitchen is where food is made. It's where happiness resides. All right, uh, through here. Okay, we're back around the front now. Uh, I guess we have to go upstairs. I really don't want to. Me too, buddy. You know what? Me too. I'm fucking freaking out right now. Anyway, upstairs. Oh, look, footprints. You love to see it. Okay, where are they coming from? This way, there's a bat. Okay, so we know we know what happened. We, we really do. What's through here? Hello? Okay, this has been barricaded. Somebody really didn't want whatever was in there to come in. Oh my god. The set dressing is just... I'm gobsmacked, really. Hello? Okay, lots of plants and overgrown things. Okay, they were um moving around a lot. Whoever has the muddy feet. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Uh, No, we were checking this room, weren't we? I don't remember where we've been. Hello? Hi! Okay, somebody definitely went a little bit cuckoo in here. Uh, that's fine, though. I really, really do not blame them. I hate this. Thanks, I hate it. Next room. Lots of muddy feet. Can we not? Can we, like, wash our feet, maybe? <sighs> Uh, oh, okay. We found one of the victims. All right. Lots of knives in there. Okay. We, we, we've we confirmed. We've confirmed the death. Oh, there's a bassinet over here. Is there a baby in there? Uh, there used to be. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Next one. Why? Oh, look. The footsteps came from the well. Um, yeah. Okay. I understand. I understand. Now, there's still that shed also. That's the last room we haven't checked. So, um, I'm really not excited to go in. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, this this is the graves of everybody here that died. Um, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, thanks! I hate it. Unfortunately, this is all the time I had today to review these builds, but really, please do check out this hashtag. Some of these builds went above and beyond what I thought was even possible in The Sims 4. Be sure to join my Discord server in the link below to get all the information for next week's build competition. And this entire build theme was inspired by the Spank Bank Mystery Inc. ghost busting series on my channel, so please check that out if you have time. But anyway, I don't care what you do. Just stay hydrated. Have a good day. Bye-bye.